6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Miriam Khan. Here's the headlines. President says no amount of oppression and brutality can suppress Kashmiris who want freedom at all cost. United Nations says negotiations are underway with India to allow humanitarian team to visit occupied Kashmir. Leading international magazine Times has laid down the India's claims of normalcy in occupied Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, hundreds of people defying curfew held a forceful demonstration in Srinagar against the India's illegal occupation and scrapping of special status of the territory. The 8th annual joint exercise of Pakistan and Chinese Air Forces Shaheen 8 has started at Northwest China. Pakistan has been ranked as fourth fastest growing freelance market with a 47% growth in freelancing earnings. A two day Sarfaranga cold desert Ajib rally started in Sakurdu today. Another news in detail. President Dr. R. F. Alvi says no amount of oppression and brutality can suppress the resentment of Kashmiri's people against India who wants freedom at all costs. The president expressed these views on Twitter in his comments on a video showing thousands of Kashmiri's people, including men, women and children, taken to streets on Friday against the Indian oppression. The president, in his comments on the video further, said that this is Srinagar yesterday, despite curfews, bans, blackouts, tear gas, and firing. He urges over 2 million Twitter followers and other countrymen to retweet it and let the world know. Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Fidel Sashi Kavan, says that people are belonging to various walks of life, are participating in Kashmir Solidarity Campaign with the zeal to show their support for Kashmiri brethren. Addressing a news conference at Governor House in Lahore today, she said Prime Minister Imran Khan has formed a vocal group to strengthen solidarity with the people of occupied Kashmir. She said weekly meetings of the group will be held in which policies about the Kashmir issue will be formulated and recommendations made. The special assistant said that the prime minister will address the nation this week. She said that Kashmir Solidarity Day will be observed soon to express the solidarity with oppression Kashmiris and to convey a message of unity, harmony and commitment to the world. About economic situation of the country, the Special Assistant on Information said as a result of the prudent economic policies of the government, the national economy is moving in the right direction. Addressing a press conference, Governor Punjab Chaudhary Muhammad Sarva said the opening of Kartarpur Corridor for Sikh Yatris is the historic step of Prime Minister Imran Khan. He said all minorities enjoy equal rights in Pakistan as per the Constitution. The governor said the Sikh convention will be held in Lahore and Nanka Sahib on the occasion of 550th birth anniversary of Baba Guru Nanak. With the humanitarian situation fast deteriorating in the Indian occupied Kashmir, the United Nations has expressed the hope that the India would allow its human rights officials for the access to the disputed state. Talking to the reporters at regular briefing in New York, the UN associate spokesperson Ari Kaniko said our human rights colleagues are in touch at various levels with the Indian government in this regard. The spokesperson was responding to a question whether efforts are underway to pressure India to agree to the request made by the UN Human Rights High Commissioner Michelle Bachale to allow the humanitarian team to visit occupied Kashmir. Leading international magazine Times has left down India's claims of normalcy in occupied Kashmir. In its article, the magazine says the under pressure from international media's coverage of the crisis in Kashmir and to give an impression to the world that all is well in Kashmir, Indian government is making ridiculous statements. The magazine referred to the recent press talks by the secretary to the governor of Jammu and Kashmir, who stated that all was getting well as the government had kept the water and power supplies running, thus indicating that the thus indicating that Kashmiris should be thankful to the government for keeping intact the lifelines for basic survival. 
The magazine states that the such statements from the government that all is well in Kashmir have never surprised people of Kashmir, and these have become a lie that has lost its sheen of cleverness. Journalists from all over Pakistan and Azad Kashmir have started to protest a march towards the line of control to condemn a ban on freedom of expression by the Indian authorities in occupied Kashmir and express the solidarity with the standard Kashmiri people in the valley. Call for the march has been given by the Pakistan Federal Union of the Journalists. More than 400 journalists from different parts of the Pakistan and Azad Kashmir are participating in the march. In occupied Kashmir, hundreds of people defying curfew and other restrictions are held a forceful demonstration in Srinagar against the India's illegal occupation and scrapping of the special status of the territory. Defying strict curfew and other restrictions, nearly 1,000 people, including men, women, and children, took part in a demonstration in Sura area after the Friday prayers yesterday. This is Ready Pakistan giving you the news. The 8th Annual Joint Exercise of Pakistan and Chinese Air Forces Shaheen 8th has started at Northwest China. The joint training aims at improving training standards of the two air forces through the mutual learning. It will also help enhance the close relations between the two countries in general and develop a mechanism of interoperable for both air forces in particular. The recently concluded goodwill visit of a German Navy's P3C aircraft to PNS Mehran is a manifestation of good bilateral relations and a desire to find a new vistas to further strengthen the defense ties between the two navies. According to Pakistan Navy, the German Navy P3C crew was warmly welcomed by the commanding officer and the crew of a 28 maritime strike squadron. German contingents also visited Maritime and PF Museum to learn about Pakistan Navy and Pakistan Air Force's historic achievements. Pakistan has been ranked as fourth fastest growing freelance market with a 47% growth in freelance earning during the second quarter as compared to the same period of last year. According to the global payment platform, Pioneers, a global gig economy text published in Forbes, Pakistan is among the top freelancers markets, leaving behind the regional countries including India, Bangladesh and Russia. The report is based on a sample of more than 300,000 freelancers in Pioneers a network. According to the report, the U.S. stand at the top with a 78% growth, followed by the U.K. with a 59%, Brazil 48%, Pakistan 47%, Ukraine 36%, India 29%, Bangladesh 27%, Russia 20%, and Serbia 19% growth. General Manager of Pioneer Al Moldovan said in Pakistan, there is a younger generation seeking more opportunities. In Afghanistan, 25 militants have been killed and several, several other injured in an operation by the government forces in Chamtal district of Balkh province. An Afghan army spokesperson said that the operation will continue to stabilize law and order situation in the area. Yemen's Houthis have launched multiple drone attacks on a King Khalid air base in Saudi Arabia this morning. In a statement, the Houthis group's military spokesperson Yahya Sari said that the attacks targeted hangars and runaway of the air base in Khamis Mushayt city. Iran has test fired a new missiles, according to the commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guard. These are the non-stop movements towards the growth of Iran's deterrent power. Earlier, Iran displayed the domestically built long-range surface to air missile air defense system on Thursday. China has warned the United States to consequences if it does not end its wrong trade actions. In a statement, China's Commerce Ministry said that the United States should not misjudge the situation or underestimate the resolve of Chinese people. A two-day Sarfaranga Cold Desert Jeep Rally started in Sakurdu today. 70 Jeep races and 40 bikers are participating in the rally. Local culture, music, polo match, and the local art exhibition are also part of Sarfaranga main event. And finally, the weather report. Mainly hot and humid weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. 
However, rain, wind, thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Malakan, Hazara, Peshawar, Mardan, Rawalpindi, Gujrawala, Lahore divisions, Islamabad, Gilgit Baltistan, and Kashmir. And that is the end of the news. Before and that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.